Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm Iris, and today I'm gonna attempt to show you how to run Philip CDI games with MAME. So first, what you want to do is go to the MAME website, mamedev.org, um, and then you scroll down, click download on whichever operating system that you use, I go Windows. In order to get the actual MAME release, you want to click on either GitHub or SourceForge. I find that GitHub has the most recent uh, release, so you go there, and then you want to download the one that says MAME. 0247b underscore 64bit.exe. Click on that and download it. And then once your download of MAME is finished, you want to bring in that little exe file that you just downloaded. You want to bring in your little exe file that you just downloaded into its own little folder. And then you double click on it and then make sure it's extracting to the whole folder that you want it to and then click extract and just wait for it uh, to download. Okay, so once mommy is open, you want to go to either your general settings or your system settings. Uh, don't do anything, don't mess with anything unless you want to. And then click save settings, wait for it to load, and then return to your previous menu. And then when you go to your main folder where MAME is located, there should be a .ini folder called MAME.ini. And then you can open with your notepad app and then there's all these uh, little commands and stuff that you can work with to work on your configurations, settings, and more detail. Next, you want to go to the ROMs folder that is located inside example MAME. And you want to make a new folder and we will name this one CDI Mono 1. This is the name of the CDI that MAME usually points to when trying to load a game. So in the CDI Mono 1 folder, we want to have these specific ROM files. We want CDI 200.ROM, CDI 220.ROM, CDI 220B.ROM, and then this file that ends in 7201, and then this other file that uh, ends in 7206. Next, we want to verify that the ROM set we just put in for the CDI Mono 1 are correct. So, you open up command prompt. Since my version of MAME is located on the F drive, I want to uh, type in F colon. And then I want to do CD uh, and then put in the name of the folder that MAME is located in. So now it's in the folder. And then we want to type in the command MAME dash verify ROMs. Verify ROMs. Then we click enter and then it will start to scan the ROMs folder in your main collection for your ROM sets to make sure that it is good. So the current uh, BIOS that are out there, I cannot give you the BIOS files, you need to dump them yourself or find them, I cannot tell you where to find them, um, but they need a redump, but they are the best available to use for the program. So now what we want to do is make a new folder and then specifically name this CDI. You can also add a folder and then have it look for a specific folder within your ROM section. So now we have a section to look for ROMs slash CDI so you can have things be more organized. And then you press tab to set it, return to previous menu, wait for it to save your settings and stuff, go to your previous menu. So I'm pretty sure that MAME will accept uh, Philips CDI Q slash bin formats. However, I prefer to convert my Q slash bin CDI files to a .chd so it's a lot easier uh, and more compressed on the computer. So 
Uh, I recommend this Philips CDI to .chd batch converter. Uh, download it, and then once it's downloaded and all set up, and you have your Q slash bin files, you want to import them in to the folder. Make sure that they're all in the same folder all together. Wait for this to load, and then you want to click Run Me .bat, and then you just wait for it to compress all the hunks, and then put it into the chd format. Then when it's done, it should give you a chd file. So now, in your sample folder for CDI, let's make a new folder that's specifically meant to run the game. Uh, we'll make up a fake name, but the naming will of the files will be important, but I'll show you that, that in just a second. I recommend uh, Spudlo MAME Software Lists. This place has all of the names of the files that work specifically with CDI and what the MAME emulator looks for. So, because we want to search for Zelda and click search. So, the version is Zelda 1 of Gamelon, so we want to click on that. So, we want the folder that we are going to put our Zelda ROM in to specifically be named Zelda Gam and make sure it matches this software thing exactly, or you can just copy and paste it. And then when you have your chd file, you want your chd file name to specifically be named the exact name that is under disk and name. So this one is specifically has to be typed like this. So then we put that in here, we rename the file, and then now that should be correct. So now we open our command prompt back up. We do all the switching that we usually do to go directly to the browser, the directory that we need to, because the only other way is to do with PowerShell, and I don't fully trust PowerShell all the way yet. I don't. I prefer Command Prompt over PowerShell, so we're not doing PowerShell. So then we type in MAME, and then we type in CDI Mono 1, and then we type the name of the folder itself, not the ROM, just the name of the folder. So since we want to play Zelda GAM, we type in Zeld Gam and we click enter. Wait for it to load. It'll tell us some information. We press any key to continue. It'll tell us that there's some problems because uh, MAME is still very much so under development. Uh, but that's fine. This should work good enough. And then it'll give you this little green, this little cyan screen. Wait for it to load. It'll give you the Philips Compact Disk Inter Interactive screen. Just go click Play CDI. And it should open up just like that. There you go. So now you have learned how to configure your MAME emulator, how to configure your ROM files to work specifically with MAME and getting them to work with CDI. Yippee! Um, some games like uh, Monty Python, Muzzy, etc. Um, won't work because they have the DVC capabilities for the CDI, which MAME doesn't fully support yet. Um, hopefully they will in the future, but I don't know because CDI is not entirely the most wanted console out there. But at least uh, you should be able to play games like One of Gamelon, Berenstein Bears, etc. Again, uh, mame.spudlow.co.uk should have a complete list of the software that is currently compatible with MAME, and you can see all the titles that you need to specifically name all your files and etc. Um, yeah, I hope this helps you, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like my other content, please consider subscribing uh, and following me on twitch.tv slash trashcangoddess and checking out my other social medias in my link tree, which should be anywhere in my bios. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your support. I hope this tutorial helped you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everyone! Wait, 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 wait,